Hello everybody, Chad Hayes here. I hope that you're all doing well. I want to share something with you out of the scriptures today. You know, in each and every one of us, there's a need for affirmation. God created us that way. It's a part of our makeup. We have a need for love, affirmation, and acceptance, each and every one of us. And that can get out of balance, it can get out of control, and become something that it was not intended to be. But God created us uh, with a need for affirmation. I want to show you something here in the scriptures. In John chapter 5, verse 39, it says, Search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. And you will not come to me that you might have life. I receive not honor from men, but I know you, that you have not the love of God in you. I am come in my Father's name, and you receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, you, him you will receive. How can you believe, which receive honor one from another, and seek not the honor that comes from God only? Um, you know, as I said, in, in every one of us, there's this need for affirmation and acceptance. But until we realize that it, it, it can only come from God, we will live in tyranny. God is the only one that can really give us the affirmation and the love and the acceptance that we need. That's, that's part of why that's there in, in us. God, God put that as in, in our longing for him and our desire for him. That's a part of it, uh, that we would receive his affirmation, that we would receive his love, that we would receive his acceptance, and that would fulfill us. That would make us uh, complete. Let me, let me ask you a question. Are you, are you more concerned about God's acceptance and what he thinks about you? Or are you can, more concerned about what man thinks about you? All right, is, is it what, all about what your wife wants? Is it all about what your pastor wants? Is it all about what so-and-so wants? What, what's the real concern uh, that, that you have? Are you more concerned about what others think about you? Or are you concerned about what God thinks about you? Because at the end of the day, the only thing that matters is that we have the acceptance of God. You know, Jesus uh, looked at his son and he said, This is my son in whom I'm well, well pleased. He affirmed his own son, and he affirms you. You look at the word of God, there's an affirmation there, there's love, and there's acceptance that comes from God, that comes from his word, that comes from his spirit, that comes from his presence. Amen. Receive that. Embrace that. Go after God and let him show you what his love is. Let him uh, show you who you are. Let him, uh, let him put his stamp of approval on you. Let him mark your identity. It'll make all the difference in the world. Amen. I hope that, that that's been encouraging to you today. Uh, Jesus didn't seek the, the, the acceptance, the approval of man. He was seeking the acceptance and the approval of God. Amen. I love you. I want you to know that God loves you. Uh, if there's anything that we can pray for you, we would love to do that. Leave your, your comments, your remarks here uh, in the comments below, and we will pray for you. And uh, please share. If this has been a blessing, share this with your friends. Uh, on Facebook, uh, on Twitter, YouTube, however you can do it. Uh, help us get our message out. We want to be a blessing to people. Uh, and, and so you can do that. Uh, you can help us to do that by sharing this, 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 uh, this little video blog. Amen. We love you guys. God bless you. I hope you have a great day.